what's going on y'all jt here with an unboxing and look at the imex slider now this is a 16 scale um brushless i would say i don't know if you guys want to call this not so much of an on-road car but it's not too much of an off-road car um but it does come with a set of drift tires and wheels it also comes with some set of road tires and stuff now i picked this up from tiny adventures rc there's going to be a link below in the description um as well if you guys haven't checked them out go over there and check their website out if you're in the local area go check their store they do actually have a drift track inside their store so i say if you're over there in that area go check them out go tell will and his crew i said what's up uh, so um anyway so back to this so this is actually going to cost you 139 dollars going to be basically 100 for you guys see the price tag there for it um and this is brushless as i stated before and it comes with two sets of tires um with it it comes with a set of drift tires and then a set of street tires and this is brushless and you guys see down there it also says of course four wheel drive ready to run 2.4 gigahertz radio it says adjustable shock so i'm not sure if those are oil filled it's got full ball bearings on it uh brushless motor and it says kind of a splash proof right there so we'll uh we do have some rainy weather coming up so i'll probably take this out um in the rain a little bit i probably when it's drizzling a little bit just to kind of see how this holds up but that's a quick look at the chassis there and you guys see some of the specifications um of this the length width height wheelbase etc and weight and stuff of it and it comes with a 3900 kv brushless motor that's going to be interesting that's going to be fast um and it also comes with a, a 1200 milliamp um lipo battery too so let me go ahead let's get this open and let's see what this looks like inside and getting this out that actually looks um get this over here real quick. that looks pretty good and oh yeah gotta love the smell of a new rc car so if you guys are new to my channel um i love the smell of a new rc car it's almost like you're going to buy a real new car and just the smell and the aroma of it always kind of always gets me excited so uh let me go ahead let me get this out and let's kind of see what all we got in here All right, guys, so kind of pulling this out, you kind of do see everything you get in this entirety right here. Uh, so I do recommend that, of course, you get an instruction manual with this. So I do uh, recommend you take a couple of minutes and you kind of go through the instruction manual. It actually has both cars on it. They're the same except for probably the bodies and stuff and probably the color of the wheels on it. So that's going to be the same way. But take a couple of minutes, go through that instruction manual, kind of familiarize yourself with the vehicle. And then next you're going to have is the 2.4 gigahertz radio. This is actually a pretty decent looking radio. Um, I got to see if this has got one of those two in one speed controllers in it. But you guys see there, you have some of your basic trims and stuff on this. So it's going to be interesting to kind of get this vehicle out and get this running. And it does use four double A's if I recall up in here. Yeah. So we're pretty much good with that. Uh, trying to get that open. There we go. Four double A's. Yeah. Four double A's with that. Uh, but then, of course, next we got a little bag of goodies up in here. So with our bag of goodies, we do get. Um, a charger in here to charge our lipo battery that comes with it you get some tools to work with it then you also get your trip your drift tires and wheels and some extra body clips and a couple extra things in there so that's pretty good they give you these tires and wheels with this all right so let's get to the meat of this and that is actually going to be the buggy um our car our slider i don't know what you kind of want to call this um this is going to be interesting um to get this out and running uh get this off it actually looks a little bit better than i thought it was when i first saw it i was like yeah but when you actually get particular cars out you're like oh they actually look a lot better in person that's kind of just about every car out there uh so taking this body off oh and it has lights on it too hmm, interesting we will uh put those lights to the test uh see how those uh flare but it doesn't have any lights in the rear but it does have it in the front of it so you guys kind of see the way this is laid out on the inside of this and there's that little cute brushless motor and this is four wheel drive. Now the car is all plastic, so I don't expect, um, I didn't expect aluminum from this, but I did have a truck version of this that was brushed before. It's actually pretty quick, um, brushed out the box. So I'm curious to see how fast this is, or how fast this is gonna be, uh, brushless on 2S. Uh, um, and looking at it, it does have one of those two in one speed controllers in it. You guys kind of see that right there. <clears throat> and they also have the lights and everything built in to this whole module here so you got your speed controller your receiver and then this whole lights module for this vehicle kind of built in all at once so what i'm going to do is 
uh let me get some double a's i actually want to turn these lights on um just to see kind of how these lights look and then we'll go ahead and turn down the lights uh the big bright light that's kind of flashing here because i'm kind of curious how these lights look so let me get some double a's for this remote real quick and then we're going to turn this on just to see what these look like all right y'all turned down the big light and i don't know if this is going to be uh, we'll, we'll we'll do that just to see. And we can turn the lights back on in just a minute. I'm curious how bright these lights are. Get this to synchronize up. There we go. Um, so let's see real quick. Hey, that's a pretty quick servo. <laughs> you guys see that there. So with this here, um, you can't really see it that much. But there is kind of a red ring around these lights here. If you guys can kind of see that there. And there is an actual additional channel that's on the radio that you're going to click. And every time you click that, that click and turn the lights off. There's that red right there. That's that Hellcat look. There you go. So it has regular lights and then it has the ring around it. And then it has it with it just as I'm calling it the Hellcat halo lights around it. So that's actually pretty cool. So let me uh, turn on the lights real quick. There we go. I just won't turn the light on the camera. So that's pretty good. Um, I am going to have to adjust this steering a little bit. Uh, take this and adjust this trim. Yeah. I may have to actually take that servo off. The serv I may have to take that off um, because I'm trying to get this to go straight. Uh, it may be okay. So we'll get this running. So anyway, guys, with the shocks real quick, they are not oil filled. You guys can see that there. Um, it does have a little heat sink, on, heat sink on the motor, so I think that's actually um, pretty cool and pretty cute. Let me go ahead and turn this light back on. Get a little bright light going on there. There we go. So you guys see there it does. There's a little motor for it. 3,900 KD. So I'm going to get this charged up, and I'm going to get this running uh, probably within the next day or so. And then I'll get my, one of my little smaller ramps out, and then we'll uh, kind of run this and do some jumping with it and I'll clean the garage up a little bit and probably do a little bit of drifting in the garage so you guys can see um, how this actually is going to run us. I think it's going to be pretty good. So like I said, there's going to be a link below in the description. I'm trying to look at a couple of things on the box. Um, there's going to be a link below in the description if you guys are going, you guys want to purchase one of these. Um, they do have the slider and then also the Avenger as well. So you guys put your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.